Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 252, Toby or Not Toby. The engines were very discouraged after their latest encounter with the Admiral. I heard it from Elizabeth. He said we're impeding his investigation of Sailor John. Can you believe it? Absolutely not, gasped Billy. Why, to say such a thing to us is downright unbelievable. I have never heard such malarkey in all my years. But first, quick question, what does impede mean anyway? The Admiral thinks we're getting in his way, groaned Molly, which is basically an excuse as to why he hasn't caught Sailor John yet, added Murdoch. Oh, sure. Blame it on us, the ones he's been asking for help all this time. Settle down, everyone. Pitting ourselves against Sailor John and the Admiral will only lead to more trouble. This has been a frustrating situation for all of us. Well, he shouldn't say such horrible things to us. If he thinks we're getting in the way, then maybe it would be better if we didn't help at all. The engines wholeheartedly agreed. Toby was still unsure. The Admiral is a wise man who said something not so nice in the heat of the moment. This will all blow over soon enough. Just wait. But the engines were not impressed. Even Dustin was hesitant to return as the Admiral's private engine. What's the matter, my friend? Don't you want to continue our chase after Sailor John? It will be just like old times. Yes, right, if you say so. But don't complain when I can't take you off-road. Just then, the station master ran outside. Harold says he spotted Sailor John's truck on Thomas's branch line. Now's your chance, Admiral. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, Dustin, let's put this pirate away once and for all. Meanwhile, Toby was on his way to pull a train when he began to lose steam. Slowly but surely, he came to a stop in the middle of the track. Bother, <laughs> broken down like an old outdated steam tram, he laughed. I suppose it is time I went in for repairs. My paint's been peeling, and I'm pretty sure my floorboards are warping. If only I could get to that water tower over there. Just then, Toby heard a whistle, and a truck zoomed around the corner. There, coming down the line straight for him, was Dustin. No, stop! I'm stuck on the track! But it was too late. Dustin crashed hard into Toby and flung him off the rails. Drat! We lost him again! Everybody okay? That was a mighty hit, Dustin. Who left this old van on the line? Guess we should tow the remains to the scrapyard. That's Toby, actually, said Dustin sheepishly. I'm guessing he ran out of water or something. The Admiral apologized profusely, but it didn't make Toby feel any better. Eventually, he was hauled back onto the track for Sir Topham Hatt to see. Dear me, the damage is quite extensive. It looks like Dustin's propeller acted as a wood chipper and chewed most of you up. I think you're very lucky to have gotten away with as much of yourself as you did. I'm sorry, Toby. We got a lead on where Sailor John was, and we were racing him down the line. I understand, Dustin. It's just unfortunate, to say the least. I know catching Sailor John is a top priority, but there must be some order to this chaos. I'm afraid I can't continue to defend the Admiral to my friends when I know I've impeded his progress once again. The Admiral grimaced and walked away. Let me speak to Toby alone said Sir Topham Hatt. He's had quite the accident. Dustin and the Admiral quickly left the scene. Toby was visibly frustrated. 
I needn't tell you that this is not how railways are supposed to be run, sir. Sodor is a proper railway. If I wanted this type of nonsense, I would go back to the mainland to be verbally abused by diesels all day long. This admiral man can't expect us to help him one moment while he runs me off the line the next. I understand, Toby, but I need the admiral here right now. I don't expect you engines to completely understand my position as controller, but... The railway is not doing well, Toby. We are in trouble. Well, of course we are. We've spent months looking behind our cabs in hopes of spotting that vulgar pirate. No, Toby, I don't think you understand. The railway is in trouble. Big trouble. Toby gasped. Oh, I think I know what you're getting at. I had no idea, sir. I was only thinking about myself, of course. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I shouldn't have... No, it's all right. You engines are here to pull the coaches and shunt the trucks, and I make sure everything else works out. But the truth is, it hasn't been working out for quite some time now. Sailor John's previous adventure here caused a lot of strain. The Great Railway Show was magnificent, but Sodor bore most of its burden. The Arsdale Railway is barely keeping along. And, unfortunately, we happen to wreck a lot of engines and freight cars on this island, all of which adds up. The truth is, I don't have the money to repair you, Toby. Wonder why Winston hasn't returned? Why Bertie isn't around? Why Vinny's still at the steamworks? I thought that's because you don't like Vinny. Well, yes, that is true, but never mind. I need the Admiral here to find the treasure on behalf of Sodor, so that we can continue operating as a railway. If he doesn't find it, and Sailor John gets it instead, well... Everything makes a lot more sense now, whispered Toby. I'm sorry I didn't stop to consider all of that. It was rather selfish of me. Relax, Toby. You are one of the few engines who can appreciate what I've told you here today. But I don't want this getting out around the island. We are hanging on right now, and that's all that matters. Any more bad news will only make things worse. I think I will have you stay in your shed for the time being until I can find a way to get you repaired. I'll have Thomas look after Henrietta until you return. Thank you, sir. That means quite a lot to me. And Toby hobbled slowly away. Later that day at Tidmouth, Dustin arrived with the Admiral. Percy glanced in their direction, but didn't say a word. What's the matter, Percy? Everything all right? Yes, everything's fine, Dustin. Have you eaten any of my other friends today? Oh, right. I guess you heard about that. Listen, I didn't mean to. What's all this about, Percy? You know we would never mean to do something like that. If it's anybody's fault, it's Toby's for stopping on the line in the middle of the day. I've told you, engines, how I need your help out there, and what Toby did wasn't very helpful. Percy glared at the Admiral. Running engines off the line makes you no better than Sailor John. That's what he did back in the day. And you know what we did? We sent him packing, something you should consider. The Admiral glared crossly. Dustin felt very uneasy. I think it's best you find another engine for your conquest, Admiral. Apparently, I have not been the right engine so far as we haven't caught Sailor John yet, and I won't lose all my friends over this. I hope you understand. The Admiral was speechless. He realized he no longer had Sir Topham Hatt's engines on his side. That night, Toby struggled to fall asleep in his lonely shed. How could it have come to this? The railway and this kind of trouble... 
What will we do if we don't get the treasure? One thing is for sure, I shouldn't be the focus of repairs. That money should go to something else to keep the railway going. Oh, Toby, old boy. Either you do this, or it doesn't get done. I think it's finally time. And Toby rolled slowly out of the shed and into the night. The next morning, Sir Topham had arrived with Elizabeth. Toby, I've come up with a repair plan. Toby, Toby, my word, where has he gone? He couldn't possibly be out pulling a train right now, could he? Not a chance. He could barely move along the rails yesterday. He about fell apart after that wreck. Well, this is perplexing. Maybe he'll return later today, and I can discuss this with him. I hope everything's all right. I wonder if the other engines have seen him. But they hadn't. It was like Toby had vanished into thin air. Did you hear, Thomas? Toby is gone. He hasn't been seen since his crash yesterday. Well, that's surprising. I'm in charge of Henrietta while he's away, and I wanted to say goodbye before he left for the works. That's the thing, Thomas. He isn't at the works. Sir Topham Hatt has been looking for him all over the island. Thomas was puzzled. Toby is not the type of engine to get up and leave without saying anything. I hope everything's all right. Just then, Stanley puffed in. Thomas, Percy, I have some grave news. I was pulling the midnight mail last night and, well, I saw something very disturbing regarding Toby. What is it? They asked. I think, and I'm not entirely sure because it was really dark out, but I think I saw Toby being pushed away towards the mainland by a diesel. Percy gasped. Oh no! The diesels have abducted Toby! He won't last long over there. You know how the mainland treats old steam engines. We must do something to get him back. But Stanley was nervous. Again, Thomas, I'm not sure exactly what I saw. It could have been an old brown van or something. But I heard that Toby was missing and I wanted to tell somebody. Just then, the station master spoke up. Thomas, you're wanted at the mine near Wellsworth. Direct orders from Sir Topham Hatt. Sounds serious, whispered Percy. What are we going to do about our friend? Leave it to me, Percy. I'll tell Sir Topham Hatt what's happened and we'll send out a search party right away. Toby's done so much for us over the years. This is the least I could do. Let me know if you see anything else. And Thomas puffed quickly away, determined to find his friend at whatever the cost.